Hello guys, this is Switch Free TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional, guys, I would like to shout out the Palin Preserve channel na nagpunta rito at then join sa devotional. Shout out and God bless to Angelica Elvito, Ben Lawrence Chonko, Stephanie Intes, uh, Bing Olivillo, Nathaniel Abilia, Jamaica Daing, Crystal Joy Balbino, uh, Gidjo Nunay, Mary Joy Lagindin, Janine Mancio, Rika May Palma, uh, Ruli Olio, Friends Yandog, Uh, Blissery Chavez, Michaela Lazaro, Pearl Pansoy, Estila Kison, Jane Pador, uh, Kent Fernandez, Chris Kyle Wakonawa, John Sel Magdasal, uh, Felix Limbaga, Jane Kurai, Casey Urbina, Ruana Ticar, Nicole Villamor, uh, Monique Kilimor, Gitson Mikilang, Keith Dolia, Lisel Gabiana, Honey Grace, Alia Bunani, Uh, Hart Ponsalan, Mami Rose Crop, Bians TV, Connie Blog, Michael Aborita, Jusilin Custodio, uh, SSC TV of Korea, Retro Blog, uh, Liu Bakoteco, Juan Anthony Valmolia, and even to those who did not join us during the premiere, but still not punta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all, guys. Guys, it's Wednesday. Sana naman, no? Balik-balik ko talaga yung sinasabi to. Reminder na sana nakapagsimba tayo sa mga churches natin. Nakajoin sa mga prayer meeting or kung ano man yung mga activities ng churches natin. We need to join para sa fellowship natin kasi yung fellowship would also encourage us to live. Especially if you have problem, you can take counsel from your fellow church uh, members. Kaya kailangan talaga natin guys, no? Then, I really believe in the word that uh, when family prays together, they go together. I guess it's not present to our devotional. Let's open the Bible to 1 Kings chapter 15 and we will read uh, from verses 1 to 15. Still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the which you see is a simplified na. Maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, what I'm reading is about Abijah, king of Judah. So the word of the Lord in 1 Kings chapter 15 verses 1 to 15 says, In the eighth and year of the reign of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, Abijah became king of Judah, and he reigned in Jerusalem three years. His mother's name was Maaka, daughter of Abishalom. He committed all the sins his father had done before him. His heart was not fully devoted in the Lord his God, as the heart of David his forefather had been. Nevertheless, for David's sake, the Lord his God gave him a lamp in Jerusalem by raising up a son to succeed him and by making Jerusalem strong. For David had done what was right in the eyes of the Lord and had not failed to keep any of the Lord's command all the days of his life, except in the case of Orion Hittite. The Hittite. There was war between Rehoboam and Jeroboam throughout Abijah's lifetime. As for the other events of Abijah's reign and all the, all he did are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Judah. There was war between Abijah and Jeroboam, and Abijah rested in his father with his fathers and was buried in the city of David. And Asa, his son, succeeded him as king. In the twentieth year of Jeroboam, king of Israel, Asa became king of Judah, and he reigned in Jerusalem forty-one years. His grandmother's name was Maaka, daughter of Abishalom. Asa did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, as his father David had done. He expelled the male shrine prostitutes from the land and got rid of all the idols his fathers had made. He even deposed his grandmother Maaka from her position as a queen mother because she had made a repulsive Asherah's pole. Asa cut the pole 
down and buried it in the Kidron Valley, although he did not remove the high places, Asa's heart was fully committed to the Lord all his life. He brought into temple of the Lord the silver and gold and the articles that he and his father had dedicated. Amen and amen. I guess let's not pray. Father, in that what we read, oh Lord God, it just shows na wrong will ne really never prosper. As what the uh, succeeding king after Jeroboam and many more kings, because they did what is not right at your sight, they are being punished, oh Lord God. Lord, thank you, dear God, uh, for this new king na sinabi mo sa amin, dear God. Ito si Asa, oh God, who become king sa Israel, who did what was right, and you are so pleased with him, oh Lord God, sa mga work niya. Lord, thank you for the reminder na dapat ganito yung gag gagawin namin, oh God. The action we can do would become a concrete example for uh, people who look at us, oh Lord God. We cannot avoid that there are a lot of people looking at us as well. Lord, teach us to be very careful of what we're doing, oh God. Sometimes, oh God, action speaks louder than words. I also have to pray, oh God, for those who are here joining the devotional this evening. Ikaw manalangin sa bawat isa, oh God. Even to the family we are presenting, whatever problem we have, may your wisdom be upon us in order to solve the problem. But above all, we ask you to please solve the problem. Yes, Lord, we commit all these things to you in this our pray. Amen and amen. Our focus verse for this evening, guys, is found in First Kings chapter 15, verses 11 and 14. And it says, Asa did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. Wow, no? Grabe. Asa's heart was fully committed to the Lord all his life. Amen. So the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is Concrete Action. The story of King Asa, the third king of Judah, is a reminder to us that faith in God expresses itself in concrete step of obedience and visible action. True faith doesn't seek out feel-good experiences or actions that are convenient and popular. True faith seeks to be God. There should be changes in our behavior as we look to Him for heal, for help and strength. Asa's heart was fully committed to the Lord all his life, in verse 14. How did he show his commitment? He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, in verse 11. He expelled the male shrine prostitute from Judah, got rid of all idols his ancestors had made, and even deposed his grandmother from her position as queen, queen mother, because she'd made an image for the worship of Asherah, as described in verses 12 and 13. This action wasn't easy to do, as idolatry was now deeply entrenched in the culture of Judah. But Asa wanted to do what was right, and he obeyed God, even if it meant possible anger and retaliation from his subject and his family. <laughs> As I think of us as obedience, I look with shame and embarrassment on certain areas of my life. Areas where I'm disobeying God, I know I need to turn to Him in repentance and take concrete action to obey Him. What about you? <laughs> okay, referring this uh, question to me, no? uh, opposite. Kasi ang nangyari sa akin is... Uh, Nagalit sila uh, as to why I resigned from my job because I'm soon becoming a manager that time. But still, I, I choose to serve God to become a missionary. Kaya nagalit yung uh, mismong ano, uh, kins ko and so, family member except my mother. Kasi tuwang tuwa pa yung mother ko na I resigned from my job and then choose to become a missionary. Siya lang yung nag-support sa akin, and siya lang yung nag-prepray sa akin, kaya excited siya, never so excited also. Sabi ko nga, bahala na sila dyan. <laughs> Imagine kins, uh, uh, are, parang hindi nila gusto yung decision ko na ganun, pero I choose to serve God that time. 
What areas in your life can you pray for you seek to obey Him? Yes, there is, no? It was just revealed to me by God, no? The time I uh, meditated and, of course, I need to, uh, to have action on it, no? Uh, di ko na sasabihin kung ano yun, basta uh, God revealed something to me na I, I have done action with it. And I'm so excited as to how God would uh, fulfill His promise to me. Kaya, sabi ko, Lord, thank you. <laughs> Nasabi ko talaga, it's a big, ano, pero, napasalamat na ako kay Lord because I know I can experience God's faithfulness in this. I guess that's not pray. Lord, help us follow the example of King Asa to be true to you. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, let's ask God to be true to Him. Na yung action natin would be a concrete example for others to follow. God bless us all, guys, because I know which Charlie blesses 10 times better. Please, again, it's Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo ulit. Kaya sa muli, paalam!